Welcome to On the Issues with ABC News Senior White House Correspondent Martha Raddatz and the Brookings Experts for a dialogue on policy issues and ideas. Senior Fellow Richard C. Bush says the U.S. should embrace a strategy of engagement with China's growing power. You say that China's rise poses the most important foreign policy challenge. Why is that? Every time in human history that you've had a fast-rising power, it unsettles the international system. And it particularly um, means a big challenge to the dominant power of the system. Um, that was true for Great Britain, it was true for France, et cetera, et cetera. And um, so China's growing fast economically, militarily. Uh, the United States is preoccupied. Um, uh, how the United States and other status quo powers handle this uh, um, will require vision and skill. Uh, it can be done, um, but it's not a foregone conclusion, conclusion that it'll work out well. I, I'm really interested in this preoccupation because certainly in the last seven, eight years, we've been pre preoccupied with other things. Yes. So how do you change, how do you shift, how does the next president become engaged, and what should the next president do? First of all, I th it requires dedicating a certain amount of time to this task. One thing that's happened in this last administration is that um, our top leaders have not shown up in Asia uh, because they've been totally preoccupied. There are certain meetings um, where it's very important for the American president or the American secretary of state to just show up. Showing up matters. And if we don't show up, the people who dominate are the Chinese. Uh, so that's the first thing. Um, the second thing will be to um, get it right with China with respect to um, the economic, macroeconomic imbalances that we create for the international economy. Uh, we're both, in a way, a drag on the international economy. Uh, China's rolling up huge surpluses. We're huge, rolling up huge deficits. Um, we have to work together to unwind that imbalance. Um, and we will learn things about ourselves, each other, as we do that. Uh, the third thing we have to do is understand that uh, there are s a series of issues on which we can either work together and cooperate well or um, sort of end up in frictions and conflict. Taiwan is Taiwan, one. Yes. Um, uh, Iran Human is rights. another. Human rights is uh, another. Uh, Korea is another. When you look at the candidates and you look back, and other candidates in presidential elections, and Ronald Reagan and Bill Clinton and George Bush, mm -hmm. tough talk about China, you say, did not work. Uh, at this point, it appears that none of the candidates uh, is thinking about drawing a line in the sand. They understand that uh, the complexity of our relationship with China. Uh, so what's more likely is that whoever becomes president will deal with the reality of the situation rather than, you know, what a, a, a change that they would like to make. All right. Thank you so much. Sure.